नमस्कार माय सेल्फ प्रतीक एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द असाइनमेंट बेस्ड ऑन द एक्सेप्शन व्हिच इज गिवन टू यू इन द लास्ट वीडियो सेशन लेट अस मूव टू ऑरकल लाइव टू डिस्कस द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट लेट अस फर्स्ट क्रिएट दिस टेस्ट टेबल व्हिच हैज ओनली वन कॉलम विद नेम नम व्हिच इज ऑफ नंबर टाइप and this is also the primary key of this table let us execute this statement table has been created now let us focus on this plsql code here we are declaring a variable a of number type and in begin section we are assigning a value to this variable by using to underscore number function and here we are passing a string to this function you know that this will raise a runtime error and this runtime error can be handled by having exception handler value underscore error so in exception section we are having exception handler with name value underscore error to trap this runtime error in this exception handler we are inserting a record in this table with value 1 so this one will be inserted in this num column which is the primary key of this table after inserting the record in this table we are displaying a message inserted successfully as already discussed in the problem statement the execution of this insert statement can result into violation of a unique constraint and this will raise a another exception with name duplicate value on index to handle this condition we also have a exception handler with this name when duplicate value on index in this case we are displaying a user defined message exception handled now let us execute this code can you predict the output of this code i request everyone to predict the output of this code in your mind now i am going to execute this code and we will see the output the output is inserted successfully let us understand the reason for this output this here the execution of this statement will raise a runtime error in the form of value underscore error exception so this exception is handled by this exception handler this has inserted a record in test table with value 1 and then a message inserted successfully will be displayed to the user in this case there is no violation of primary key so record is inserted successfully and corresponding message is displayed to the user let us query test table to check its content i am executing the statement select start from test you can see that it has a one record with value 1 now let us again execute this code can you predict the output this time we have our output the output is unique constraint violated you can see that error is propagated to the calling environment let us understand the reason of this output when this statement is executed it resulted into raising a runtime error with exception name value underscore error so control is transferred to this exception handler and under this exception handler this insert statement is executed now we already have a record with value 1 in test table this resulted into violation of a unique constraint and it raised an exception with name duplicate value on index and it is also interesting to note that this exception is not handled by this duplicate value on index exception handler and the error is propagated to the calling environment so there is very important learning in this case we have learned that at a time only one exception handler can be handled in an exception section this insert statement raised a runtime exception duplicate value on index this is not handled by this exception handler because already a exception handler value underscore error is already handled in this exception section so in order to trap this exception we have to use the concept of enclosing block let us put this whole code in another enclosing block as shown here so you can see that this whole code has been enclosed in another enclosing block with begin section exception section and end and in the enclosing blocks exception handler we have added a exception handler with name duplicate value on index and in this case we are displaying a user defined message 
exception handled in enclosing block. So this exception is now again become a part of error raised in the begin section of enclosing block. So this will be handled by its corresponding exception handler with name duplicate value on index and user defined message exception handled in enclosing block will be displayed. Let us execute this code to check its output. So you can see the output is exception handled in the enclosing block. So here we are able to handle the error raised in the exception section of sub block by enclosing it in an outer block and by adding appropriate exception handler in the enclosing block. So in this code, we have discussed how to handle the runtime error raised in the exception section. So we can conclude that exception section is only used to handle runtime errors raised in the begin section. It cannot handle the error raised in the declare section and it cannot also handle the error raised in the exception section. In order to handle the errors raised in declare section or to handle the error raised in exception section, we have to put this block in an outer block so that all these errors can become the part of begin section of outer block. Then by adding appropriate exception handler in outer block, we can handle these errors. This is all about the solution of this problem. To read more on this, you can refer my book Simplified Approach to DBMS, which is available on Amazon. You are requested to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive latest video tutorials on topics like data mining, machine learning, DBMS, big data, NoSQL and many more. To learn SQL in a simplified way, you can join this free online course on SQL at Udemy platform. I have also authored books on data mining and data warehousing, NoSQL, beginning with SQL and PLSQL for beginners. All these books are available on Amazon platform. To read more about this, you can refer my website prateekbhatia.com. Thanks for watching this video. Mm -hmm.